The experts confirm that people hate making decisions. We love having choices, but we also get overloaded by them. And with every decision we make, we deplete our mental reserves and our ability to make good choices, empowering choices, inspired choices. This is decision fatigue and supermarket chains and retailers profit from this phenomena every single day. Picture yourself in the produce aisle at the supermarket, wisely selecting your tomatoes, your carrots, your kale. You're a little bit hungry and you've expended a bunch of energy all day long making decisions. You make it to the checkout aisle and there it is in a halo of light. Ah! The Snickers bar. <laughs> Your arm takes on a mind of its own and you find yourself grabbing not just one, but two of those delicious little tie bombs and you put them on the conveyor belt right next to your healthy leafy greens. Why? Why? In that moment, you literally have no more wise choice ability left. Now, most people think you can only think with your brain, but the latest neuroscience shows that we also have brain type cells in our hearts and our digestive systems. And it's even reflected in our language. I had a gut reaction. My heart wasn't in it. My head said yes, but my heart said no. Taking advantage of the unique contribution of each of these thinking centers dramatically increases our wise choice ability and our ability to achieve what we want in life. Tony is really entertaining and insightful. She taught us a lot about how to manage decision fatigue and how to perform in a crisis. For me as a husband and father and a performing musician, is going to have a major impact both at home and in my career. She'll make you really think about your thinking process and in the end, make you a better person. Being in touch with my multiple intelligences served me well when I was hiking around Diamond Lake in Oregon. I just decided to turn back to camp. When I first saw the bear, I rapidly ran my options through the processor and realizing that there was no path for escape, I considered that my life as I know it may be over. And I blessed the bear with every step it took towards me. Now don't get me wrong, I was shaken in my shoes. And trust me, they were not as cute as these ones. <laughs> but time slowed down. I got in touch with gratitude for my life thus far and for the magnificence of this creature who looked like he might want to eat me. The bear came to within four feet of me before he finally stopped and he headed down the steep slope towards the lake. It's so valuable to implement just a few simple practices that connect our thinking centers together. Not just because we need the halo to show up on the bok choy instead of the candy bars, but also because you never know when you may be called upon to respond instantaneously to one of life's critical turning points and be able to tap into the full breadth of your wisdom.